Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So we're going to look at uh, two add-ons for Automatic 11 today and they're aspect ratio helpers. And that's going to make it a lot easier to actually quickly set up um, doing photos and doing conversions when you're using Automatic 11. So Easy Diffusion has something like it already built in. Automatic 11, you need to add it in or you need to type in every single time what sort of ratio you want. So these helpers um, are going to make just life a lot easier for you. So we'll get over to Automatic 11 and I'll show you how to do it. But first of all, let's go to the intro. So here we are in Automatic 11, and all we're going to do is we're going to come over to Extensions here, and then we're going to go to Available, and we're going to go Load From, and once we click that, it's going to bring up all this here. And what we're looking for is SD Aspect. Okay, we'll just try Aspect. Okay, here we are. So here's a couple that uh, come up here, and these are aspect ratios. So what we want to take a look at here is this one, which will help lock aspect ratios. And we're just going to go install from there. And we're also going to put in the aspect ratio here that retains the same aspect ratios. So both of these will help. And I'm also gonna put in the ratio lock. Put that in. That's it, it's quick and easy as that. And then we just go to install. We can go for check for updates. It will go through and check if there's any updates of our existing stuff. We should do this time to time. And we can see that we're already on the latest. Now to make sure those work, we want to hit apply and restart UI. And then we're going to have to wait a moment for everything to load and for it to pick up those um, new added on changes. Once that's done, it will um, pop up. So we'll give it a moment. Okay, now our UI has reloaded. We're going to see a couple of different things. We're going to see these aspect ratios here. We're also going to see this new one here where we can come through and click different aspect ratios as well to uh, change them. So, and that just helps greatly because we can just go, if you put a 4x3 photo in there, we can click 4x3 and it will automatically change that to the uh, width and the height. We can reverse that because uh, with that sort of aspect ratio, if it's in portrait mode, that's what we're looking for. And that just makes it quick and easy rather than having to type in every single time. And um, all these make it much easier. So you can come across, you can do that. Uh, you can bring it into a locked 16 by nine using this option, for, uh, which is one of the other add-ons that we've just put in. So all these make it a lot easier to come through and actually put in your aspect ratios. Uh, when you're on it, it will usually adjust both at the same time. It is a little bit glitchy, like when you move that one, sometimes we don't get the exact one. So um, it may need a little bit of playing with to um, just make sure that you get them both correct. So, and then off there, and we can go back to four by three. Um, I don't believe, yeah, that one won't actually lock it. So, but used in combination, if you go four by three, and then we come down and lock the aspect ratio, we should be able to move it and actually adjust both of them at the same time. So, and that just makes our life a little bit easier. So that's a quick, easy add-on, which I recommend that you actually put that into your uh, Automatic 11 Stable Diffusion which will just help you out a long way when it actually comes to um, doing your uh, images and uh, getting what you're actually looking for. So that's it. That's quick and easy and how to put uh, a couple of add-ons into Automatic 11, which um, I use and I find that they're very helpful and I believe they'll help you as well. So if you found this video uh, helpful, like, subscribe and get the bell on and share the video uh, to your other social medias. It may actually help other people out. And I will see you in the next Stream Tabulous video.
Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.